Hello everybody, welcome to another stream. Hello, 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 hello. What's up, Matt? What's up, Piot? What's up, uh, Pike Pico? Welcome uh, to the only constant in the universe. Did you know that the planets revolve around us? Oh. <laughs> That's our intro. <laughs> <laughs> the newest everywhere game <laughs> job. <laughs> Everyone revolves around us, <laughs> not ass. Uh, what's up with you? <laughs> ass, ass. <laughs> uh, we got some new, uh, some new fun stuff um, to show off. Um, maybe we'll uh, spawn one right here. Uh, do the. We uh, can do range sword first. That's the least exciting one. This is the range <coughs> Hello. sword. Hello? Uh, <laughs> that's the sword target. <laughs> we had a VO for it. A range sword, you say? But swords are usually not so ranged, aren't they? Ah, uh, but this is a magical bird one. What, uh, what rarity was it? Rare. Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> cringe. That is so pogger. Come on, this weapon isn't cringe. Piotrek said that he loves Voidigo. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is, how's the audio levels? I feel like uh, uh, maybe the game is. Yeah, quiet. maybe it's cringe. Is Actually. it cringe audio levels? <laughs> Are you cringing? Oh, thank you, Snake Egg. One year. One year. One year, wow. One year in the boat. Dear, 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 dear. A very rocking boat. That's really so rocking. When you reload with this one, you see the bird. Okay, check this. Flies around and then. Oh, little bird. We're actually gonna change the name to Avian Silver Tongue. Oh, yeah. And it shoots through walls. And your enemies. It's the avian silver tongue. Get it right, gang. Uh, oh, sick suck. It oh, okay. suck. <laughs> My god. <laughs> I'm getting harsh reviews today. It's suck. Yeah, this weapon is a sick suck. It's actually weapon. cringe suck. Yeah, it's cringe suck. I'm sorry we added this. I think it's a cool weapon. Yeah, I I wouldn't cringe at this. I'm also I happy it. that I did the bird for it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, a uh, little, little extra. Oh! <laughs> it tricked me. I tried to block with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that, it, I actually tricked uh, Robin into making a break sound for it. <laughs> because I was like, it's a sword, it needs a break of sound. Of course it needs a break sound. And then he did a break sound for it, but we can't use it because uh, it's a it range. It never breaks? Yeah, it never breaks. He used it for something else. Uh, funny, funny. Uh, we'd love to see it. Yeah, we can show the hammers now. Okay, I'm gonna get to safety. I'm getting a bit sweaty out on the... Uh, break sound. <laughs> break yeah, if it goes too fast. Yeah. Uh, spawn web hammerer. Feast your eyes upon this. Yeah, this is the best name. You're gonna pronounce it uh, correctly every yeah. time. It's got uh, three hammers. Do do do. I, I remember like hammer. Where, where is that from? I remember that from a uh, Sanjay. Ah, it's. Uh, what was that? It's uh, one of the dog's names. Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's your server. <laughs> no, I remember. One of the outtakes, probably. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, the range on this one is crazy. Yeah. I really like that all the hammers hit, so it's like tick 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 tick. <laughs> and I do less and less damage. Yeah. Smart. Smart and. Crazy uh, hammer, that's how hammers should be. They should be stuck together like that. Make a hammer family. Yeah. Someone tell the angry carpenter. Is it um. Uh, and uh, here's another one. It's the uh, the croaker. Check out this little guy. 
It's uh, a frog on a slingshot. Because it needs a little bit of help. Yeah, to get extra far. And it's got a little bit of homing, it jumps around and explodes on your worst enemies. Also, it shows the frog awesome. rework for the frog explosions. Yeah, they have a, a, a new look. And uh, these guys, they jump on on the floor or uh, on the roofs as well. What do you call it? Walls? Uh, will it get a buff from the frog bullet lotion? What happens if you do a frog bullet lotion on this one? Uh, let's try it. Spawn power up a frog bullet lotion. I do think full. It's, it's gonna get Two, the three. The reload. Oh yeah, the reload is uh, the frog catching its breath. Not that one. Not that one. It's hard to tell. There might be a second pair of feet on the. There it is. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get the snake one. is funny because it gets a snake head. Disgusting. This is disgusting. Cool. Oh yeah, that's the exploding frog head. So it it should do two frogs, frog explosions, if my calculations are. Correct. There it goes. It was two frogs. Cool. I suppose everything is good in the world. Yo, <laughs> double frogs. Much needed. Much needed. Uh, next weapon uh, coming up next is the uh, cat bat. This is the <laughs> easiest is... name to remember. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little cat. Or a long cat, I suppose. Finally, a cat in the game. Is it a uh, long cat? Or, a... I don't know if it's <laughs> considered a... I read the description. <laughs> <laughs> Sad. Um, isn't there a meme called long cat? Yeah, uh, an old one. Yeah. So the first attack is a big uh, a bat swing. The second one is uh, a, a flurry of claws. Uh, a claw flurry. It's basically the best weapon in the game. Much. Much. <laughs> it's pretty good. Question mark. It's probably good against bosses. We yeah, haven't tested imagine. these weapons a lot. And they're yeah. not final, uh, final, final, final. Uh, some, uh, some maybe are final, final, final. Uh, but uh, I, we haven't. I have a, a to do, to do, uh, to do, to do. <laughs> I have a to do, do, do. Uh, task where uh, I'm gonna do like a final polish pass uh, to make sure everything is in its correct order. Mm. And yeah, if if the testers are testing. Uh, please let us know how the balancing feel. Yeah, yeah, we need notes. You can uh, play the testing build and spawn these weapons Ooh. and uh, have a fun time. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. This game has it all, huh? No need for other games. <laughs> <laughs> can you agree with us? <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, you should you should uh, show the purring sound. Oh yeah. Show the purring sound. Okay. Look at this. That's bizarre. That's the best block. Uh, I think everyone except the uh, uh, croaker is rare. Uh, I think. Uh, oh yeah, uh, we did. We did. Uh, these are the new ones. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever thought about charged melee weapons? We had that uh, before, but uh, I don't think we want charge stuff because no one likes the charge up in in the ranged weapons. 
Uh, testers don't test. What we did hell? have so that if you held it, you could cancel attacks. Remember that? Yeah. Remember? Angry cat. Okay, check this one out. Uh, we have a new power up as well. Ooh. Yeah. This is a really f funny power up. This is the live studio audience. Finally, it's pretty funny. It's a uh, it's a vehicle with your own uh, live audience, and uh, when you rock the vehicle, some of them fall out and uh, uh, clap uh, clap your enemies. <laughs> tell a tell a joke and see what what they do. Okay. Oh, they already started laughing just at the idea of a joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes just uh, yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> they got right in there. Uh, and when they die, even more fallout. Of course, of course. But yeah, they have a bunch of uh, reactions they can do. Uh, depending on how funny or cool you are in battle. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how the balancing is. Uh, we lowered the balancing, or like the strength of it, but it <laughs> might be still too strong. Yeah, breaking the cat uh, is fun. Do a slash break. Ash. <laughs> the sound. <laughs> the <laughs> echo. <laughs> Ah, the curse is lifted. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> you Wait, can, you can fix the cat again. It's fine. It's only temp. It's, it's still doing cat noises. Yeah, it, why? <laughs> How? Yeah, am I crazy or is it still doing cat noises? Oh, I got a I got a whistle from the crowd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still doing its idle sound. That's weird. Because... Uh, are the are the idle sounds like on a frame or? Yeah, they should be. Yeah, on. that's really weird. Then. Or did you do the idle sounds as a loop, Robin? No, it's on a frame. I haven't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what? It might be the equip sound I'm hearing. Ah, I see. There's still some of the uh, cat soul in there. Yeah. <laughs> in other games, you get, you get pet cats. In Voidigo, you, you get to kill them. You don't get to kill them. Your enemies kill them. The, the uh, cat is dormant. I mean, uh, pick up uh, ammo. Yeah, and see? Thing. Cat's fine. Chill out. Yeah. It's just uh, dark magic hiding in the cat for a while. Um, excuse me, it's just dark magic. You can't blame us. Uh, cat bad used to be baseball cat, but we uh, changed it. We understood that this was a more catchy name. Oh, cat bad! Can't wait for the bat bat. Oh, they laugh at me. Is there a weapon you yeah. think is too bad for its rarity? I mean, uh, we get the feedback from our players all the time, and I think uh, we're getting there. Yeah. We, uh, 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 we open our arms widely for balancing feedback. It's, yeah. uh, it's by far the hardest part. More cats. Yeah, we can do more cats. Yeah, um, we can, uh, for example, have a, a cat's cat katana, a katana. Imagine that, huh, guys? Imagine the broken state of that one. Oh my god, just bloods and guts. 
Maybe you won't. Well, we'll think about it. The crowd is going crazy. The crowd's going wild! Uh, so yeah, today we're gonna keep coming up with more ideas for the idea pile. Mantis uh, leg durability buff. I'll write that down. He write it, he write it though. My little gummy people. You guys ever just fall in love with a bunch of gummy people? I love the intro jingle when they spawn. It, uh, it's yeah. such a damn boop. Da, 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 da. This uh, update will be fun. Yeah. Ooh, my mic's a... dying. Goodbye. I think we have like. Ah. It's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have like uh, six, uh, seven weapons soon. New um... weapons. You have one, and I've. Five of mine are in the game. And also I have one hidden in the game right now. Also, I have a new one coming up. I need to make it so if, if they land in an area where there's... where you can't break the walls and it lands on the wall, they should just disappear. <laughs> he he flinches for every clap. <laughs> <laughs> I would too. <laughs> what happens if you spawn get another one of the, these power-ups? What could happen? You can get s s swine of them? The hell? Two for the price of two? Oh, they did not like the... Uh... Yeah, the cat is talking And it's sleeping on your back if you have it on the back. This is actually a weapon that I think is probably... Should probably not be in the, in the ultra rare. Uh... The one on the ground. This one? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Another audience. Another one. You can get that many, and then and then you can do stand up. Finally. Okay, check this out. Isn't the funniest stand up just uh, attacking your boss? They're waiting to get hit. <laughs> Oh, they all got it! Oh, the getting like uh, them on fire is a really good strategy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, in the last build, like the one we did yesterday, they did uh, more than uh, twice the damage on bosses. <laughs> that Oops. Really that. It was a pretty crazy, honestly. I think this might be the most creative power-up we have so far. Yeah. I like it. We like it like that. Problem? So the, uh, the backstory for these are that uh, they got tired of their uh, uh, subterrestrial sitcoms. Yeah. Uh, but find your adventures exciting and are eager to see the final episode. Imagine that, guys. Sad but true. I'm gonna add uh, a note that is uh, also making... There's <laughs> 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 uh, uh 
the Zappa. Oh yeah, when they stand in poison, that's good as well. But only if they are close to the enemy. If they aren't close to the enemy, they aren't gonna do much, are they? <laughs> they they really like being close. Yeah, they're watching. <laughs> they're watching. <laughs> they want front uh, row seats. <laughs> also, they're like excited to get hit. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, gummy people, they don't really have any innards, I think. They, yeah. they can just... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Get hit by lightning. <laughs> they don't have that stuff on the ground. Yeah. Did you read the description? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I... Oh, it's booing! <laughs> you wanted more! <laughs> <laughs> One funny thing is, as well, that when you die, the first looping behavior they do, they keep doing forever. So now they go, one of them are laughing, no, two of them are just laughing, and one is applauding. And they're just gonna keep doing that forever. That's so yeah, fun. the people in the front row think it's much more funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yahoo! Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, there's one last thing I want to show up. I want to get to the anti boy. <laughs> yeah, it makes for some funny scenarios. Um, higher difficulties add uh, a bunch of stuff, like... Uh, but yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, mostly multipliers to uh, existing systems. We have some ideas for uh, modifiers, but uh, those ideas are uh, probably not gonna be connected to difficulty. But no, they're gonna like be like yeah, the extra uh, challenges void challenger and uh, looping kinda. and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah, we have some ideas for uh, um, modifiers or mutations to enemies. And that's gonna be all kinds of enemies uh, as well. But yeah, we've, uh, we've talked about making the difficulty uh, stats uh, available to the player. So it's a bit easier to know what is changing. Uh, which is probably gonna help with... Uh, uh, that it might not feel like you know what's getting harder. Yeah. Because it's a lot of uh, small changes and uh, balancing stuff. Yeah, we've uh, put a lot of effort into the difficulty systems. So we, we really should make it more obvious. Uh... Me. Me meta <laughs> rewards. Uh, I don't know if I agree because it's kind of like if you make uh, oh, the question? if you make impossible uh, like spawn more meta currency, mm -hmm. then that would kind of be in, like an incentive for people to n not play the lower difficulties. Yeah, and we, stuff like we, that. We don't wanna. Uh, like have make harder difficulties uh, give you more or unlock stuff uh, uh, other than like achievements and other difficulties like harder yeah. difficulties. We could maybe have uh, some uh, visual stuff like skins or something in the future. Like uh, if you beat uh, a, a, a dif uh, like impossible with a character, maybe you can get a golden version of that char character or something. That, uh, like, visual stuff is fine, I think. Yeah. Like, rewards like that, but... Um, yeah, like, achievements are also just visual stuff, it doesn't really... Yeah. Uh, skin is an incentive, but it's not, a, like, a gameplay thing. 
Uh, it's not a, like. Uh, yeah, I mean achievements are an incentive as well. Uh, yeah. That's not uh, but the issue. I'm... It's more like uh, hiding uh, actual content. Yeah. Difficult. It's more like uh, it shouldn't. You shouldn't be able to beat the game faster if you play impossible. Like unlock everything faster. Uh. Yeah, not an advantage. Is uh, that what you're trying to say? I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm trying to say. <laughs> A lot with. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say very little with a lot of words. Yeah, I think it's just <laughs> like uh, not hiding actual gameplay yeah. content uh, behind the difficulty. We want every. Make them fall. Yeah, uh, check this out. Some of them will not. Uh, Live to see another day. I mean, the, the ones that go down in the uh, hatch will probably fall down underneath <laughs> yeah. as well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it doesn't really help. It's really fun as well when. Um, <laughs> uh, it's over for them. <laughs> you can. Uh, uh, th uh, these little guys can also be blocked. Uh, so if I spawn a. Tramping beauty per se. Uh, no. Exclusives uh, can create an incentive if if you like advertise them, but you can have them be secret. I mean, the problem is not an incentive at all. Uh, incentives are totally fine. It's just uh, the actual like uh, gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, I think in the, uh, like incentives can be good. In yeah, that I sense. mean achievements are incentives. Yeah, and because totally uh, because fine. you can get a uh, like if if you're playing lower difficulties and you're just looping over and over and over and over. That's not maybe not that fun in the long run, but having an incentive to go up a difficulty could be cool. Yeah. Also, I'm not able to uh, get uh, a single one blocked, am I? <laughs> well, I give up. You'll have to buy the game to find out, huh? Yeah. Here it goes! Oh. One block. One block, and did it block it out of the... <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Um, yeah, should we uh, get to uh, Krakalaken? Yeah, From yeah, babes. So yeah, those are the new weapons and power-ups uh, for this week. Uh, uh, hope you enjoy them so much, you smile so hard and so big, huh? Maybe we can get 10 or uh, 10 plus uh, weapons for this update. What do we know? Can it get, is looking good! Can we get 10 big smiles in the chat for 10 new weapons? Imagine 10 new weapons, that, that would be a crazy. That would be a smile fest if I ever yeah. saw or heard or knew about one. Uh, uh, maybe giving void currency <laughs> per boss. Uh, the problem with that is uh, that uh, we the bosses are actually like Thank easier you for follow bridge easier to beat uh, when you do two bosses because we lower the yeah they have less health so the, yeah in, so in the end you're gonna get uh, more uh, meta for less work so it wouldn't make sense from a yeah but may system. maybe they could you could get one more by doing that. Maybe or something like that, but, but you, I feel you like should, you, you shouldn't get, get so much you, from uh, doing the void challenger. Yeah, true. Uh, you could get uh, uh, maybe like a thumbs up or. Yeah, if thumbs up, if the current rate feels slow, then uh, we could. Uh, could just up the meta currency drops for everything. If it's um, too slow. Maybe. I think um, it's probably pretty good for the amount of content we have right now. And when we add the north, it's gonna 
get yeah. faster. Yeah, because we don't have that much uh, unlockable content right now. So it's uh, like when we have a lot more unlockable content, then maybe it yeah, then make... we can scale up the amount you get. But, yeah, uh, it's probably not something we want to do right now. Um, the hell am I doing? Concepts, ideas. <coughs> Oh yeah, now you're gonna be able to see what's coming as well. Yeah. Are you guys ready to see... What the hell is this? A new version of Draw Pile? Uh, fuck it? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. For now. Fuck it for now. Uh... Yeah, well, uh, it's gonna be less of a uh, meta currency grind when we have more content. But right now, like, we don't want someone to unlock it all too fast. Uh, we want, like, this, uh, we want, like, probably want a lot faster rate, but a lot more. Better players do get it faster as well, because you get more meta currency the further into the run you get, so the further you get, the faster you get meta currency. Yeah. So that is also true, like, uh, already true. <laughs> um, yeah, check this out, the uh, idea pile. So, secrets out, uh, the ones that are faded are the ones we're already working on. So, you know we're working on Crazy Rat Lady? Imagine that when it comes into the game, huh? Uh, yeah, I understand. Uh, we'll uh, probably have another look at it, Matt, uh, when we get more content. Uh, yeah. Um... And uh, we also are working on the bad saxophone. Yeah, I finished the animations for that one today. Yeah. The rat lady isn't super far. We, we have a rig, we have an idol. Uh, and yeah, the 55 vocaliber. Yeah, that one is uh, in the game, but... Uh, Just needs some sounds, right? Yeah. Still waiting for sounds. Uh, yeah, 14 wins to unlock everything in the game right now. It, uh, but, but it's also like, if you play on Impossible, it probably feels more grindy because it's very hard to get further in the game on Impossible. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I'm not sure how much we can do about that if yeah. you decide to just play like the hardest mode and not uh, get to most of it. I'm not sure how much we can do. I mean, it will be like that pr problem will be solved when we have more content and can give more meta currency as well. Uh, yeah, the vocaliber is. Uh, uh, work in progress still. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the S word and the Swiss Army knife are genius. Also, what's up, Carmen? <laughs> the S word. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a winner. I'm gonna get some water. I got a bunch of error messages as well. Can you see if you can join? It said that like people might not be able to join on your network or something. I don't get it. What? Uh... 
Yeah, yeah, uh, Matt. The, I've uh, thought uh, thought about that as well. Like uh, how uh, how it's uh, kind of a bummer that it's way more difficult to actually get somewhere on impossible. But uh, also, like I don't think we will uh, make it so that you get more meta currency for impossible because it kind of feels like it shouldn't be a thing. No, it feels like a weird design. But I know the problem. But I also think that it's a matter of meta uh, progression content. First and foremost. Yeah. We'll get there one day. Knock on wood. Um, to give more meta currency for skill players. Uh, well, the further you get into the run, the more meta yeah, currency but, you get. Uh, uh, he means. Like if you play impossible and you don't get further because it's impossible and uh, like percentage-wise you lose more than uh, if you play a, an easier one. Mm, yeah. Um. But I also think that that might be a problem because you already know how to play the game and you started out on impossible. Like if you play the game for the first time, you would probably not play impossible for the first time uh, to unlock stuff. Yeah, you would probably unlock most of it getting through before like before getting to impossible. Yeah. That's probably a thing as well. Yeah, it's it's always gonna feel a bit weird for uh, testers. Favorite character? Uh, oh, what's the guy from McDonald's called? The funny clown? Uh, Mac. Uh, Mac. Roll McDonald. I think so. He's probably my favorite character. Oh, yours too, Abby? <laughs> <laughs> Such a... <laughs> uh, he fell in my trap. <laughs> what more to add to this game? Um, Do we do we want to focus more on scary shit or funny shit? Um, we can do more funny shit. Yeah, I also feel like it could be good to try to come up with power ups that aren't yeah companions. Yeah, yeah, that sure. are a bit cheaper. Yeah, for sure. But uh, that might be easier said than done, though. I mean, we could always do like uh, uh, more crystal impact stuff. Those are pretty cheap, and uh, we're uh, kind of lacking melee. Mm. The hard thing, uh, or the uh, difficult thing, is that we need something that uh, we're gonna use a lot of the content of this update to market, do marketing stuff. Yeah. So how are we need to like come up with um, power ups like that, but that are very visual in, in mm. some sense and fun. Yeah, but that's why I'm thinking like Crystal Impact stuff, yeah. since it's very easy to just do a fun little steam thing, right? Yeah. Very true. Mm. 
Uh, yeah, we we saw the. Um, we need to extend the abyss ideas. Uh, we fresh. need to extend the canvas. Ah, oh, the brain. The melee rocket could be a fun one uh, to add. Uh, yeah. Um, power ups, though. Uh, I mean. We have. Uh, we don't have any. You talked about having like uh, uh, melee r rats, melee uh, uh, snakes, and stuff. Mm, yeah. So, something we could do that is kind of fun is that um, we could uh, like layer on the weapon. I don't know. Could we? Like, if you have a, if you have a. Bye bye, man. Bye bye. Lies on the weapon. Disgusting. I love it. Could have like uh, animated, uh, like masked on. Mmm. It would be like a constant kind of thing. Uh, or activate like with uh, like how but I don't think we can do that like where every hitbox spawns a snake bite no I, I, like I was do with the uh, elements uh, I was thinking like they spawn uh, 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 bullets mm. but on every hitbox like during that attack? Uh, and why can't we do it like the elements? Uh, the elements are active like on every hitbox uh, and not like the crystal impacts where it activates uh, on one hitbox. So you'd be able to spawn like, uh, for example, with the Peacemaker. It has uh, a bunch of uh, hitboxes during one attack. Uh, but we could do it like the crystal impacts, right? Oh yeah, but then we can't do... Yeah. Or would uh, would have to come up with... Uh... But I, I think uh, just having like... Uh... I mean, we could, we could <laughs> have like it. always active the effect could be fine yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. And then have it be more if you stack it. Yeah. And then it's like, it's fine that it's uh, masked onto the weapon, right? Yeah. But it could still be like uh, when you're. Uh, it could, it could be uh, like the next hitbox will be a snake, a snake thing. So it could be like that, but it wouldn't be for each, like an attack window. Yeah. But instead, like when it's reached the damage threshold, it activates the effect until the next hitbox. That could work. That's a fun one. Yeah, but then, maybe uh, since it's not fully, we uh, yeah. Something we could do is like when when it activates, we we could have like um, like a visual thing where like uh, if it snakes, like a a big snake pops up, and then like like goes down. Uh, wait, maybe like several snakes pop. Pop up oh, and from then Harry they, Potter? <laughs> and then they hop down right into the ground, and then like snake bullets travel like this. So it's like a build-up before they mm. are released. That could be fun. Yeah, yeah, it would uh, definitely need to be like a delayed thing. Yeah. <laughs> that snake. <laughs> low effort snake. That could be fun. Uh, yeah, I like that. So it's like a magic, like an enchantment kind of thing. So it's an uh, uh, area kind of thing. 
but then it wouldn't uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of, so it's like an area kind of thing uh, area kind of. Um, but then it would uh, also be uh, on non melee weapons right like uh, on coffee for example yeah yeah so we make it as soon uh, thank as you Abby as uh, possible. Uh, Piotrek, it would be fun with uh, like a praying mantis uh, companion because it could be from the uh, large insect, uh, no, in <laughs> insect, insect explosion of 95. We could do more like uh, uh, things surrounding the insect explosion. Yeah. Is, is your mic on or? It is, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. I don't know, is I, your mic on or are you just... Maybe weak? you turn down here for some reason? I don't know. Maybe it's just I need it more. Yeah, I, I, I might just hear my own voice more since it's uh, inside of my head. Maybe like this animation kind of thing. Uh, maybe it's uh, like... Uh, <laughs> uh, it should be somehow... Uh, like animated and code animated so that it can be in different scale so it's like if it's a bigger hitbox it's more snakes uh, um, and, th and then we could use the same system for like frogs and stuff i don't know uh what do you mean bigger scale uh like you could scale it for to like if if you get a hitbox uh, a hitbox that has more snakes it's like more snakes popping up like that yeah uh, so it could be code animated the kind of thing where it hops up and down mm. uh, but also has like animation to it uh, so you would probably probably <laughs> probably uh, have an animation with a snake that has like like this pose and then like goes to this and then goes to down so you get the, the nice like curve of it uh, and then you could do the same like amount of frames and animation and stuff for like the rats uh, and Uh, and the down, yeah. So it's like they and then the them. amount, yeah. You can have more and uh, like change and the, the rotation, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> or just like to make it even easier, you could just have one, like you could make a ball of it, and it's just like you use one snake, and then you just put them on top of each other to make a ball of snakes. Maybe. And then you could do the ball of... Uh, ball of frogs, ball of anything. Because I think like having a system for it would be good for this one. Mm. Yeah, I wonder what would uh, look the best. I mean, this this would probably look the best, though. Yeah. And I feel like uh, it's it's kind of the same work, anyways. Yeah. True. But it it would all be like in the same spot, right? So you wouldn't you wouldn't need uh, more than one object for it. Yeah. It's just like an array inside. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had an idea for a companion that collects money. Uh, yeah. It's uh, it's not in this idea pile, but uh, that one would be uh, super nice. So this could be fun. We could do... Uh... Uh, elemental peppers would uh, not be applied to these. No, they would uh, get uh, stuff from the range. Yeah. 
So that's the f fun part to kind of synergize your melee weapon with your range build. Mm. That's fun. So there's less of the. Yeah. The even more things to synergize. I wonder <laughs> if, if instead of like this, if you kind of want instead to to just like spawn bullets right away and they have like a little arc. Uh, so it's like mm. with your attack somehow, but that's not as fun though. We do have a direction range of all hitboxes. Yeah. Um, so that would definitely be possible to make like. Uh, uh, because I kind of feel like if you if you hit with a baseball bat that has a lot of knockback, like would be kind of fun if if snakes are kind of like flying away. So it's kind of like you you are launching them. Mm. Yeah, then they would. Uh... But these would be one bullet. Yeah. Yeah, pro yeah, probably. I mean, gameplay-wise, that would be more fun, I think. Mm. Um. Yeah, I don't know if it would be like an uh, arc projectile. Yeah, maybe it could be like instead of like several ones, we could do the ball, ball of snakes, and then it's an arc projectile. Yeah, if we wanted to fly far and uh, and like that, then yeah. it should probably be a ball of of the thing, and then fly an arc. Yeah, that could be fun. Like you, you that that makes uh, makes it so that uh, it works differently with. The different um, knockback force weapons. Yeah. That could be fun. But then I would say like one ball is three of the animal and then you spawn more balls if uh, you go over a specific threshold on the Damage? hitbox. Yeah. yeah. Other than making this one uh, scalable. Yeah. That could work. Or we could just make it like, uh, instead just make it like this, where it's like just one snake and it's fly flying like... Yeah, but I wonder if for optimization's sake... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's probably better to not have a lot of them. Yeah, at least have like three Oops. in one or yeah. something like that. Um, the issue with making round supply but not peppers would add lots more incentive to get those well this this case would be like uh, you have the pepper and the snakes and uh, your uh, swing would do like poison damage and spawn snakes and then the snakes fly away from that yeah. once they fly away from that uh, i think it's fair to make them use the bullet yeah. uh, stuff and that's gonna also make things uh, synergize in a much more interesting way. So do we want to remove this and add that little drawing instead? Yeah. So the less we can make things only work in a very... Uh, narrow build. Yeah, narrow uh, scenario. Yeah. True, but uh, this I feel like uh, is a great way to get all of those fun notions into... Uh, melee weapons and uh, give a bunch of uh, new uh, fun melee builds that uh, synergize uh, that opens up uh, even more power-ups to synergize with melee yeah and we could just call it bat ball rat ball frog ball mm -hmm. snake ball snake ball Oh, imagine that all the snakes come in their finest clothes and dance with each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, so adorable. Adorkable? So adorkable. Yeah, this gets the adorkable approved sign from me. Something that would be fun. Imagine this. I am uh, using a shield and like behind the shield there's a lot of snakes. Ah, oh, the crest. There's a lot of snakes and then maybe on the shield like that, like this one. Yeah. And then if it hits, get, it gets hit, uh, snakes come off. Mm. Mm. We could do the balls here as well though, right? Maybe that could be interesting. Oh yeah. Or maybe we just do one snake. Uh, yeah. Uh, since then if you... It wouldn't be damage based, right then? Like if you get hit with more damage it wouldn't matter. It's more like you want to get hit by as many yeah, that things could be, as possible. That could be cool. Maybe, although it maybe it should be damage based because, uh, like, I'm th thinking about the constant, constant laser. Yeah, well, constant lasers are uh, like chew, chew, chew. Okay. Right now, so that's fixed. Yeah, I guess I'm we... thinking more of like lippy plop, blowing bubbles. Yeah, but maybe we could try this. I mean, the bubbles are st the, the the they're gonna replace one bubble. So it's just gonna be minus one bullet plus one bullet. Oh, is it is it uh, uh, removing the bullet and making a snake? Yeah. Because oh, okay. Oh yeah, that we, oh yeah, the bullet are is going back. Maybe it's adding snake bullet lotion. That's to interesting. The bullets. That's interesting. One hundred percent of the bullets get snakes, or like a high percentage. Yeah. Well, we have to scale it somehow, right? Yeah. So. It should. It would be like a, a damage tick system for those as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So the bullet gets a snake. It already yeah. works with lotions? Question uh, mark. Yes, it does. This would be. That's true. Yeah, maybe it's not that exciting then. Yeah, so maybe we go back to the uh, the ball where, yeah, where it's like damage based and then a ball flies out. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I spend time drawing it for <laughs> arguing not to do it? Um, uh, yeah, uh, that's probably for the best, right? Snake ball. Yeah. I'm gonna draw a bullet. Damn, that's a bullet. Block. And block. Snake balls work differently. Yeah, they would work differently. Um, what do you mean? Unless snake balls work differently. They work differently from snake lotion and stuff. Yeah, because they are spawning uh, snakes when they land. Yeah. It's gonna be fun to have uh, the frog one and have those frog bullets. Yeah. That's a fun one. Uh, that's a fun one. Bat, rat, frog, snake, ball block. Yeah, this is gonna get my sign of adorkable as well.
I need to lower this. Ah, he lowered the sun. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the to the bathroom. Yeah, we can take a little break. Yeah. Um, we'll be right back. We'll be right back, <laughs> and you'll stay right there. It's story time. I am a space explorer from another planet. Go and explore somewhere else. Fine. Ooh. Oh, Papa, you always ruin everything. Arrest my son. We should respect the elders and arrest his son. I clap you on that one. Arresting, arresting, arresting. Resisting arrest? No, 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 no. Arrest complete. I promote you to best policeman. Oh, so much accomplished today. So much. So much. The older you get, the more respect people show. Isn't that right, boys? Yes, you respect me, don't you? It's time for an adventure on a whole nother level. Yeah, 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 Bratwurst Bow. With this uh, sausage broom, it will be crazy bananas. It's also golden. Four minutes later, and they're breaking the laws of the universe, and even the laws of the very important law book with their brand new broom. Bradford's bow, we're traveling faster than the speed of light! Adventure on a whole nother level or what? Yeah, I don't know. It feels crazy against the universe and the important law book. Hey, stop breaking the law! And here comes the important police to stop the banana craziness. Yeah! Mama, help me! Angard, angard! Four minutes later, they end up between two universes, and it's so banana crazy that I peed a little, I think. Uh, yeah. Sausage time, you ate the police! I'm sorry, I will never do something like that again, ever, I promise. He would have said that if it wasn't so cray, but he said something like this, I think. No! That wasn't a different, a different universe! Uh, yeah, we, we, we go this way, we'll enter a parallel universe where nothing of this has happened yet. If we eat the Bradford's bow and sausage time in that universe over there, pro the problem will be solved! Sausage time, that's cannibalism! No, 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 it's not cannibalism if you eat yourself! <laughs> It's not like you're a spit gulper, even though you swallow your spit regularly. Oh, he's right. Or we're all spit gulpers, I don't know, I don't care. Let's go. Four minutes later, and they have totally just found themselves in the parallel universe they so cleverly jumped into. Everything is banana and crazy, so to say. Sausage Sam, I think it's time for an adventure on a whole nother level. Yeah, I think it's time to eat. <laughs> and it sure was an adventure on a whole nother level. Zelda, I know you're in here. I know you're in there. This is my dungeon. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, really? I get the fuck out of my chest, Zelda. Get the fuck out of here. It's my dungeon. Now, okay, that's a good start. Now, scram. Da 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 da. You found me, you son of a bitch. You're not Zelda. Damn right. Scram. It's my dungeon. Oh, shut up. I've been here longer than you. No, scram. Okay, how about this? I'll help you find Zelda. I'm gonna stop you right there. You're gonna help me kill Zelda. I will not help you murder someone. No. She's trespassing. So? It's free to murder trespassers. No, I don't think so. Do you have some sort of power? Yeah, I guess I have some sort of power. Is it powerful? Super powerful. <laughs> oh, yeah, could it kill a girl? <laughs> Fuck yeah. No. Okay, let's try it out. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. No. These powers. Mm. Ah. Stop it. They can kill a girl. No, 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 no. Zelda. I'm so sorry. Get the fuck out of my dungeon. Get the fuck out of my dungeon. I made a list of all my finest animals. <coughs> I'm sorry, but you're not on the list. <coughs> oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Hey, let's start a meeting with... Uh, that dog is not supposed to be here. Woof! Woof! Security... Woof!
I am an old tree. Interesting. You really think so? Oh, oh, oh. sorry. Yeah, it's gonna be so interesting cutting down that old tree tomorrow. This tree. Ah, uh, you can see it. <laughs> oh. Welcome back, <laughs> gamers <laughs> amongst the stars. I knew I would find a gamer around here. Oh, it's an astronaut. Welcome back from college, Austin Moore. Uh, uh, how was oh, it? Yeah, how was it? How was it now again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, college life. I'll never have it. Never having that. Why aren't I supposed to? Thank you for following, Neves. Um, yeah, we we can't have college life. Uh, do we have any alpha, beta? Uh, what are those called? I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, in the college movies when they have like, oh, uh, this is alpha house. Frats. Frat. Fraternities. I want to be in a frat. <laughs> I'm such a frat boy and I can never get to show it. I have an idea. Let's hear it. This is a, a hitbox, right? Right. This, this is the hitbox. They look like that? That's a regular hitbox. You've seen it before. Imagine this hitbox. But now, imagine this. Ghost. What the hell? Ghost hitbox? Ghost flies out. Ah, uh, ghost in the Whoa. hitbox. And then it goes like this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. And the hitbox is here. And then it's like. Skadoosh. And the. And it's the same hitbox that hits again, and the foot is bigger, depending on how big the hitbox is. <laughs> Shkaboosh! It's a double damage. <laughs> that is Halloween, if I ever saw Halloween. That is really Halloween. I like that. That's, uh, that that's, could be fun. that's uh, Alpha Frat style. <laughs> um, one thing I was uh, thinking of when you made that is uh, it would be fun to... <laughs> I always have the little foot. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's code based over here. Yeah, when it gets big. Donk! <laughs> Donk! <laughs> it says something like... Yeah. Ghost foot. And oh, it's... phantom foot. Oh. Phantom limb. Fantastic feat. <laughs> That's gonna be the Let's Players. Uh, uh, are you playing the Fantastic Feet update? <laughs> and then. And uh, where to find them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, <gasps> it's gone! Oh, okay, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is the opposite of a scary ghost. Uh, it's gone! Where did the ghost go? Uh, I was thinking maybe something like the Ice Rune uh, Warrior Spirit one would be fun. Mm. And uh, having like a ice... An ice uh, hitbox thing. Ah. That makes uh, maybe the uh, rune... I, I suppose similar to the Crystal Impacts, but it would do like the... And then we can do a warrior ghost. Uh, the nice one you did for uh, Runebolt. Well, you know what, what we could do? Whoa. Listen to this. Like a ghost come up comes up and it's like one of one of these. Yeah. And it, and then it's like and then <laughs> this wonky ass code. And then, like, first this happens. And, yeah, then, like it, uh... and then this happens. So it's like. 
from like super fast from the sky and then it explodes in ice. Oh, so it's it's like lying down here under it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like like you can see the <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, <it> has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to look how you drew the it didn't Vikings. Look like, yeah, it did, but uh, this could be fun. Yeah, and would be fun to get some element in there. Yeah. <laughs> and this would happen on hitboxes. Yeah. It's not a grave. Graveyard, it's uh, It's not a grave idea. Uh, it just says, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, Yeah, it's it's like uh, the anvil or piano, but it's a rune. I guess this one could be kind of. How the hell does a rune look? Uh, it looks like this. And Walter's drawn a lot of runes. Oh, yeah. And then something like this. Now I remember it. And then it's always a snake. <laughs> it's always a snake. Yeah, the, this this uh, this one is often a snake. Ah. Oh. Uh, hitbox rune. But this one could be kind of like rare and powerful because yeah. it's gonna be like very irritating to have ah, da, 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 dunk. Yeah. Ah, da, 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 dunk. like you would need a lot of damage to trigger it yeah yeah so we can really make the scene spectac but without uh, making the gamers bored out of their minds Oh. Maybe this one could uh, like be uh, like you stomp it to break it. Then uh, you could like it keeps around. Yeah, then you could then you could d decide when to break it. But I don't know. That's interesting. Like he's just flailing on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh. And then when you break it, he's like. Thank you! <laughs> That's kind of funny. Storm. This is a fat brush. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Keeps falling for the same shit. Yeah. I guess it's one of those Viking curses uh, that uh, stick with you in death. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> much, much so. That's a kind of fun idea. Yeah, I like it. Let's uh, lock down this hitbox foot ghost. You, we would probably want to uh, do this animation with code because like having the ghost fly the exact same uh, for several hitboxes gonna look bad. Uh, this one would be very rare though too, right? Since it, it makes the same hitbox twice, it's very strong. Yeah. Yeah, but it could make a very... Maybe it only does on uh, higher damage hitboxes as well. Yeah. So that it doesn't do the... like. You don't it, waste it. Yeah. Yeah, if it only does it on the higher damage ones, then yeah, it's... Yeah, I think that's fine. Although, sometimes you might not get it for a specific weapon then. Maybe... Like a specific hitbox or pass that threshold yeah 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 <clears throat> true 
Hitbox Foot Ghost. Hitbox Foot Ghost. That's your favorite Hitbox Foot Ghost. You know what my favorite Hitbox Foot Ghost is? Mm, right about here. <laughs> that one. Yeah. Now we have some uh, melee fun one power ups. Uh, Maybe that's a waste of space. No. A waste of space! A waste of space! Or maybe it could be the funnest. Oh my god, it could be the funnest. <laughs> Not the funniest. The funnest. <laughs> um. What? So is this a scary one? It is, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's for sure scary. How would bats behave again? Uh, we haven't fully fleshed it out. I think it's uh, it's like uh, you get you have the bullet uh, and it hits the enemy. And then it splits into a bat. Uh, yeah, uh, a bat specific like uh, I think uh, the bat would be a bullet as well in logic. Yeah. But uh, this bat will have homing and come back and like go through the enemy over and over again. Yeah. Like. Uh, and this bullet will kind of, kind of go over all over the place when flying, like a bat. Yeah. This is maybe it flies like that. That was a bad. You get a new line here. So it's like a, a kind of random feel to how it flies. Bad bullet. <laughs> yeah, so it would be able to penetrate uh, enemies for uh, a long time and uh, have a lot of homing and uh, when this target is dead here, it would uh, automatically find a new target. And just go on until it, everyone's dead. Yeah. Or, uh, I mean, it's probably gonna have a max range. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, what's gonna be fun with the uh, bat bullets are they are gonna be bullets, so they are gonna be able to extra synergize. We should actually uh, come up with a, a bat uh, shooting weapon uh, since we're yeah. making bat bullets. Yeah. Lotion. We already have that written down. Oh, we do. Add uh, logic. Oh no, is this the Reddit guy? <laughs> is this the Reddit alien? What? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably not gonna have Reddit alien in our game. Uh, yeah, this lotion would be able to trigger other lotions, so this one could be uh, frog feet. <laughs> and then when it hits a hair, it would, uh, like, the frog would detach. Yeah. I suppose we might need to do... No! I don't, th I don't think we have to even make, uh, like, uh, bat bullets not be able to be bat lotion bullets. I don't think no. that can get out of hand. No. Interesting, interesting. So a bat uh, weapon. Yeah. Uh, okay, um, so bat, it has a lot of... Uh, bat comes from Vampire Man. Uh, uh, it, com it comes from there. <laughs> but it has a lot of potential for... Um, uh, what is the uh, uh, puns? 
like mm -hmm. bad, bad. Uh... Yeah, we have the the, have bat, the bat bat does spawn bats, right? Yeah, and uh... yeah, this guy. Yeah, but we're talking at range one right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, it would be fun to have something with a pretty high fire rate. Like just being able to yeah. let loose a bunch of uh, bats. Oh. Rat. Bat. Oh, rat a bat. Rat a tat. Bat a tat. <laughs> bat. 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 That's good. And it's just a rifle. <laughs> <laughs> With some uh, of the scary bat wings. And scary bat ears. Maybe a cape. Oh yeah, we capes are hard. Um, what else? I mean, it could be like very uh, vampire colored, like your red and white. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a face. <laughs> like it, the head of the bat yeah. sticks out. Maybe that could be fun. <laughs> <That's not> <laughs> <laughs> like ants, <laughs> antlers. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The bat tat. Yeah, I could get down with that. Of course, the little aiming. <laughs> bat tat looks good. Bat tat. Mm, maybe yeah. I don't know. Bat tat. But the task works. Yeah. It is fun to say. Batata is potato in Portuguese. Mm. Of course. Then we can make the batata tat and it shoots potatoes with them. Potata. Potat. Potata. Hakuna batata. Oh, I know. I know. He knows it? This is a tiny... A uh, vial of blood. No. It's a tiny coffin. <laughs> <laughs> like a little uh, um, keychain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the... the... clip? Yeah. Oh, that's what. Cringe. <laughs> Stop saying cringe. Cringe. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so funny to cringe <laughs> to say that like a, <laughs> a game developer like idea stream. Cringe. <laughs> I love it. We could have the. Cape. They should do that more in the idea meetings. Yeah. <laughs> when they don't like ideas. We could have like a red <laughs> cape just lying on on the. <clears throat> oh yeah! I just realized that it should also have. Uh... <laughs> oh the. Um, maybe it should color. Maybe it should be over here. Wait, what is it? The the color. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's that. true, Wupo. Uh, ant lotion could be fun. I don't know what it would do. We do have an ant gun, though. I mean, we can we can easily do like a lot of uh, ant uh, or like different kind of movement stuff with the systems we already have. But I don't know if they all need to be a lotion, though. They yeah. kind of have to do something unique. Yeah. Like uh, create a uh, a separate effect. 
But maybe there's something fun you could do with the ants where uh, they are going underground. But ants are also so small. <laughs> yeah. It would be hard to make it real. But uh, I suppose we have made big ants already. Uh, okay, this one's uh, hard rock uh, goth cool. Yeah, yeah. No, but uh, it's it's a good idea. I think there's probably something to uh, uh, to come up with uh, uh, in that area, Bopo. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> Uh, you know how the kick stick launches enemies into the air? Ants could do that since they are said to lift 100 times their weight. <laughs> mm. Something that flings your enemies up uh, would definitely be very fun. And something that goes underground would make sense. Yeah, when it, when you get to uh, like a wall, it uh, the bullet kind of like goes on the ground and mm -hmm. then like go for a while and then pops up again. That would be fun. But I think that would be more like a mole. Mm -hmm. Like adding mole hands in the front of, uh, of a bullet. Yeah. And uh, of course the mole sunglasses. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then they fun. would become like a mole. A stag beetle could fling enemies for sure. They would become a mole and then burrow down. Uh, and then when it's burrowed down, the bullet continues and it you see like. And this triggers on reaching a wall? Yeah. Yeah, because you wouldn't ever want it to otherwise, right? Yeah. And then after, after like the stack, like after a while, when after it that. gets to uh, uh, the other side of the wall, or uh, after a while, it just pops up again and becomes a bullet. Yeah, and maybe it creates a hitbox here with yeah. upward force. Like it creates the. This is where it loses the mole power. Yeah, and becomes a bullet again. Yeah, and the bullet continues. And the mole pops up. That is cool. Yeah, that could be very fun. It would be uh, fun with the glasses as well on bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little sunglasses. So here's a wall. So it's going under the wall and then pops up. And if it like it has a set amount where it can it can uh, like <coughs> dig for x amount of length, uh. and then it just pops up and breaks the wall and creates the bullet and whatever happens happens. I wonder how easy it would be to play with, like. It would maybe it wouldn't pop up as soon as it's past the wall, but like check as soon as there's an enemy over it. Uh, why? Because uh, how often are are an enemy in this position here, and you're in this position here? Oh yeah, I I mean I I was more thinking like it's good in the sense that you can fire under walls. Yeah. But also, I don't know. Maybe they randomly jump uh, underground as well. Because like you're you, you don't know when it's going to become a mole. Yeah. I wonder but, what the easiest way. But oh, also, yeah, you have your the disable thing. Yeah. You made. Because the bullet should all like still be active, so you, that 
the mole is affected by homing and stuff. Oh, okay. Right. So it's like a system to disable the drawing and collision? Yeah, wall collision. It would be all collision, right? Yeah. Maybe have have it like pop out out of the ground like the like this if it if it got triggered by hitting a wall. But it, maybe it also can like jump on the ground uh, randomly when when a mole yeah. or. <clears throat> or if it's closing in on an enemy because you mm. uh, like it pops up on the enemy so you're gonna miss the bullet yeah maybe it should only be walls I don't know hmm it could because only have it be walls could be really good as well because if you have homing and then you fire at a wall it w like the bullet will come back and it will pop out and like shoot yeah but then maybe this would be uh, because i'm thinking this is this is basically what frog bullets do as well but they explode yeah that's true um but maybe it's like homing where it's applied to every bullet and then it scales by how long under a wall ah. yeah it's worth trying out stuff yeah we might uh... this animation though like the jumping down and burrowing down needs to be kind of fast because if it's not fast, then you would be able to, like, get so many bullets. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe uh, the burning down isn't even in a mold form. It just pops down on the ground and then you get the mold flourish on the other side instead. Ah, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Or have the animation be very, very fast. Yeah, and then it would perhaps be like in it could be like the butt up right away. Yeah, and just like yeah, so the the butt would be <laughs> <laughs> this is game uh, development uh, separate to the bullet, right? Yeah, that would just be like a temp object that spawns where it dug down. Yeah. So it wouldn't actually affect the speed or anything. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a it's an interesting idea. Um, we'll uh, have to let it uh, mingle in our conscious. Uh, yeah. Mold bullets. Can can also have it uh, activate um, when penetrating enemies as well. But maybe that's not good. No. Uh, it would still uh, hit the enemy, right? And mm. then after that, it goes underground. Yeah. But maybe it's not good. I don't know. Mm, it but depends what the popping up does. Yeah. I think if this popping up, but then if if this is like if the popping up flourish is too strong, it would be difficult to get it on every bullet. But maybe yeah. maybe. because you need to have it on every bullet, right? Because yeah. you're shooting at a wall. You need to know if it can go under the wall or not. Yeah. Uh, is there a gun that does splash damage? Um, All explosive guns. Yeah. Uh, 
It's yeah. definitely a fun idea. Yeah, the uh, the flare is super fun. Like uh, I definitely want to see this. Yeah. But it's difficult to think of uh, how to do it so it's uh, actually worthwhile. Good. Yeah. Some uh, some uh, power ups uh, <coughs> like sell themselves through flare though. Yeah. Like some some are not that good, but people pick them up because they're satisfying and fun to watch. Mm -hmm. Also, the, these would be kind of good because you never have to think about walls. I yeah. mean, maybe they could, uh, like when burrowing, they could have temp uh, homing as well. Mm. Just under the wall? Yeah. Or it could, yeah. Because then they could like, if the enemy is over here, they're like, oh, wait a minute. Or like, they get like a target over here and then they're like, oh, whoop. <laughs> that could be fun. Yeah, they can feel the rumble. Also, something they could do. They're known for... Uh, like um, they could like randomly break walls and then uh, carrots and stuff fly up <laughs> because they're known to ruin gardens and cabbage that would be kind of fun yeah like when they're un under the walls they like break it and it's like they're ruining the garden Maybe it would make more sense to have it when it pops up here, since this one will m almost always miss anyways. But it's also fun because then you would be incentivized to kind of get them under as many walls as possible. Yeah. It would be the, like the first power-up where, uh, where you, you should break walls. That would be kind of fun. Mm. It's worth trying out. Breaking the walls, yeah, but they they wouldn't break all the walls. The point is getting underneath the wall, but breaking the wall is fine too, maybe? I don't know. Mm, yeah. But the next bullet you would shoot, uh, yeah, wouldn't have be able to travel past that part. But maybe it doesn't break the wall. It's just like a, like an effect on top of the wall, where it's like because we still need to make the digging effect be on top of the wall when digging, right? Yeah. Maybe it's like only like a poop, and it flies. It doesn't destroy the wall. It's just like poop, poop. Mm. I did uh, carrots twice. Oh my god, that makes me so hungry for two this, carrots. This is cabbage. That yeah. would be fun. That would... Yeah, it doesn't need to destroy the walls. I think that's fun. Because we could do like... Bloop, bloop. Yeah. Mold bubble. Yeah, I, we should uh, we should definitely uh, try it out. It would be interesting to see how well for the gameplay. Yeah, and then how many uh, of of uh, like how often it plops out crops like this could be based on the bullet damage. So if it's like a low damage bullet, it won't do as many plops. Mm, as well as the uh, power up scaling. Yeah. Because... Uh, That's... I, I, I really like this. Yeah. I think it's uh, it could be a cool one. Who could have thought there was so much good food in there, huh? And Maybe this, uh, we don't have to kill our enemies and eat them. And this is the weapon. 
it's just a mole and then you have a hand like this and then you slap its ass <laughs> to, okay. make it, to make it <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then a mole <laughs> And then, and then you pet it. Oh yeah. Uh, for a reload. Maybe I don't know. Well, now I'm. I want it. Uh, it should probably have a bigger ass. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty fun though. <laughs> <laughs> and the mole is just running on two legs, <laughs> like. Like this, with the big hands, and it's just running <laughs> away. <laughs> Wait, when is it running? Well, uh, you fire a bullet. Oh yeah, yeah, the bullet. You, you, you slap the ass, and then it runs like that until it gets to a wall, and it's yeah. Starts... Yeah, because this one has the the mole. <laughs> <laughs> The mold is Joshua. <laughs> yeah. Fire a lot of molds and it's just like. <laughs> yeah, this would be, make a, a fun uh, new uh, bullet work. Is there always a hand just hanging over it? Yeah. <laughs> Ready to slap it. It would be fun if, if the hand is oh kind of like the, the, Id the idol is kind of like. Uh, like. Menacing? Like masuing the mm. head. <laughs> it likes it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's squeezing it. Yeah. It's a nice hand masuing it and <laughs> slapping the ass. <laughs> <laughs> My god. That's fun. That's gotta be a weapon. Uh, slap a mole. Slap a mole. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> That's when you know <laughs> slap a mole. That's actually good. Yeah. The pun came after the weapon. Yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> That's actually really good with with the name as well. Yeah. It's just running away <laughs> on, on two legs as well. <laughs> oh my god. Ship it? Yeah. Uh, did we want to have a look at some comments or. Um, oh, yeah, sure. If we had I can uh, paste them. If you guys uh, didn't know, we have a little uh, contest, I, I don't know if you call it contest, uh, maybe uh, a TikTok contest where uh, we uh, uh, grab um, weapon ideas and uh, combine three of them into uh, one new weapon. Um, big fun, honestly. Uh, if you extend the... Down? To the yeah, so I'm gonna to the highest degree. Wait, the rat rage. We already have a rat rage. Rat rage. Mike Maze. I like that on the TikTok. These are some of the ones I picked. Sludge. <laughs> Love chicken. <coughs> <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I, want <laughs> I want my chicken gun. <laughs> <laughs> my chicken gun. <laughs> <laughs> And they have decided to be anonymous as well. Yeah. I want my chicken gun. Yeah, chickens could be uh, something fun to do. Yeah. <clears throat> That's also worth exploring if we can do a bullet out of it. Mm. I like that one. The stair. Feels like we could do something horror based on... Truth. Wait, is that an alligator or a crocodile? Hard to say. Chickens, man. <laughs> I thought he said nope. 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 Croco Gator. Gator. Oh, that's two stank swords. Oh my god. Who will we pick? So next sword is fun. That's uh, that's that's like a, a really sweet, <laughs> such a sweet one. <laughs> that's not what I want. But it kind of infringes on the S word. Maybe yeah. the S word is snake. Yeah. A snake sword. It feels like uh, having it uh, take big bites. Yeah, that's fun. But would it be fun to have this be like it's called the S word and then it's snake? Ah, uh, maybe S word needs to do its own thing. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just a. Uh... Snord. <laughs> What's the sneakiest hilt? It should just be snored. Yeah. Nord. Yeah, then then we could do like a. I just uh, realized we can't do snake bow, where it's just snow. <laughs> no. Snow. Snow. Maybe for the Christmas update. I just want to hold this all day, though. Oh, we got a comment saying murderers and animal abusers. Hmm, who uh, was? I think so. Yeah, uh, the snort is uh, a keeper. Yeah. Do we want to put the comments at it? Like the ones we pick? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... <clears throat> um, where was it? Snake sword. Even two. Even two. Two snake swords. Uh, let's see, where could that be? There. Snake sword, snake sword. Do we have a third? No. We have snake family. Um, we could have uh, two little snakes here. I think that 
I think it's better with only one. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Aggressive. <laughs> Just try to remove it. Is is the hilt uh, the end of the? <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It should. just continues. Yeah, that's good. Maybe no. Yeah, maybe it's one of these where it's like the. It's one of these. Yeah. Uh, a rattlesnake. Oh, yeah. Now I get it. A rattlesnake. Yeah, that's fun. Then we can have like it shaking and the rattling. Yeah. Yeah, this... that's a crazy thing evolution did. <clears throat> like they have a rattle to, yeah. <laughs> to warn you that they're gonna bite you. They don't wanna bite you. They don't wanna bite. They wanna bite. <laughs> they don't wanna bite. They don't wanna bite. It's just, it's just soft on the end, like a snake. <laughs> I like the stair. Yeah. Do you I want think... to take a little break, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to put on some coffee. Can rest our genius, genius big, uh, huge brain, and uh, and talk about you guys. <laughs> yeah, good viewers. Have you ever heard a story about a coffee shop where the coffee? was a mere diversion. Welcome to my new coffee shop! Well, I'm just gonna lay my cup of coffee right here and walk away. This is my new coffee shop! Oh, well, yes. Can I please buy some coffee? Haha, -ha, silly man, you want to buy coffee? But I want your blood. Uh, you just lost a customer. Bye bye. Oh, hello. I want to buy. I want some coffee. Haha, -ha, this is my new coffee shop. Oh, yes. Coffee, cup of coffee, please. But don't you want to give me your blood? No. Why not? You, you should sell coffee. Blood for coffee, maybe? You're a vampire. Don't reveal my secret identity. <gasps> Uh-oh. You have a cup of coffee right there. Well, that is mine. No, I want that cup of coffee. Well, I want your blood. I'm not going to get the blood. You're not going to get the coffee. Um, um, no, good coffee, good coffee. Oh. Perfectly executed, I see. What do you mean, perfectly executed? <laughs> well, you just drank yourself some holy water. Yeah! I want to thank you for your help. Been hunting that sucker for two decades now. Makes me almost sad to see that. You know, we would make a great team. Ooh. Well, I'm just gonna leave you right here and walk away. They cannot see me. They only see their precious coffee. Oh, the taste. The bitter taste. With 100,000 subscribers, we at Thunder Humor uh, thought we'd make a super cool video. Welcome! <clears throat> Am I recording? Yes. Hello and welcome! Hello! Thunder Humor Animations! I'm Axel! And I'm... <laughs> yeah, he is... you, you Shut know... Up. It's just... My name is Walter. 100,000 subscribers, what do you think? Uh, we've almost, always... We did it, Axel. We hit the 100,000 mark, and I don't care about 
any of those, you can fuck off. I'm gonna sit down. Jesus, this is, this is really... I'm always self-conscious about showing my ass crack when I sit down. <laughs> yeah. When you sit, I can see it now, no! I can see it. Surprise. <sighs> so yeah, we've got a lot of videos. Okay, do it again. <coughs> Let's oh, redo that. We've got a lot of... Oh yes. It's a sweet night in Sweden and we're two Swedish animators. Oh, it's so nice. E oh, Jesus. It's twice the nice. Okay, sound humor. So what is sound humor? <laughs> I know what sound humor is. Well, sound humor starts on <laughs> Start out making animations. You know animations. <laughs> mosquitoes. Almost mosquitoes. M mo Oh shit! I found this. I found this plane over there, and I, I thought you'd like to see. Yeah, you can have the plane. Yeah. Okay. You were supposed yeah. to be over there. Yeah. Sound humor is all about finding these small plastic planes. It's a helicopter. This is a special, a special for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Thunder, Thunder humor. <laughs> yeah. Go no. Uh, animations in English language. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I can do better. <laughs> uh, re recut, recut, cut that. What we want to say is we make animations on the internet. You have seen them. Okay. I have seen them. So it's perfect. Perfect odd. odd. <coughs> so you might have seen us in newspapers. We're credited as animators. Wouldn't touch those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. I would touch them. No. I'm this is the best. <clears throat> I'm, I'm hiding my ass crack right now. So we have a lot of subscribers. More than I've got so many rocks in my. More than. I... Welcome back, everybody, uh, to Thinking More. Live. Thinking Corner. Hey, think about this one for once. Knife machine gun. <laughs> uh, so we made the snored. Uh, slap a mole. <laughs> mole bullet. Bat a tat. Bat bullet logic. Fun. Hitbox foot ghost. Hitbox foot ghost sounds like uh, an adult swim series. Like uh, space ghost, coast to coast. Yeah. I think this would be fun. The star, volcanic eye, big laser. Maybe okay. some some kind of. Uh, we have a. Thank you for the four. I don't have key there. That's much space to work with, though. But I think we can do something. We can do it. Would be interesting to have like. Uh, are you thinking like having a big eye in the end of the volcano? Yeah, and it's like staring. Is it uh, a fire weapon? Yeah. Oh, and then it's like a volcano kind of. But how would you? Like a... <laughs> how would you? Uh, how does those like uh, volcano kids science project? Uh, do they have a specific look? No, it's just a volcano. Uh, it's like made of uh, paper mache. Yeah, it's not this mache. Man, kids, kids love science experiments. It's, it's it's so amazing. Could be like broken off from a rock or something. Oh yeah, if you see like the underside of uh, the earth I'm here. thinking like uh, making room for... Uh, I can be some branches. I guess that's not gonna be visible. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> we need more room. Is this a... Uh... This is the uh, where where the yeah, let's move this down one row and yeah. we'll do it down here. 
while we're thinking. This is where you hold the gun. Is, is this uh, eye... Do you see anything more of the creature back here? I think it's just like one. a tendril maybe? Could be fun. Oh yeah, that could be fun. Um, something I want to do though is make it shorter. Maybe it's like that. It's kind of like uh, underground vines. Oh yeah, that's funny. And it's lava. Oh, lava crying, crying lava. Oh yeah, and, and, and this part here could be like the... The, the connecting. Oh yeah. That's a cool weapon. Yeah. And then it's like a... Pretty scary as well, isn't it? It's a big laser. Not scary enough. And then it's a big volcanic... Oh, like a fire, fire laser. Fire laser, yeah. I'm a fire in my laser. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't done any uh, lasers with elements attached to them. Yeah. Other than for magma. I think this is a cool weapon. Yeah. Um, and then uh, now, is it <laughs> readable if if you didn't know about these covers? I mean, it's gonna look like a volcano still. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And also, it's like lava and stuff, and and it could be called Eye of the Volcano or something. Yeah. Volcanic uh, ocular. Uh, Oculus Rift. <laughs> <laughs> Is that in, taken? In a volcano. Uh, Oculus Rift in a volcano. Oh, VR Volcano. The V stands for Volcano. And the R stands for... Reality. Right in our game. Uh, volcano right in our game. <laughs> I think that's a fun one. <laughs> Oculus Volcano Reality. <laughs> Um, but we need to have it over here. Yeah, let's move it there. Um, volcanic. Uh, Volcan I. Volcan I. Volcani. <laughs> <laughs> Vulcan I. Vulcan I. Is it Vulcan like uh, uh, a Star Trek sh stuff? Uh, concept guns and untranslatable names. <laughs> you can't yeah, translate yeah. this. Oculava. Oculanic. Yeah. Oculava. <laughs> oh, cool, I'm not calling any. Let's just call it Help Volcano us. Eye for now. Yeah. Is it Volcano? Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, we'll uh, think about the name. <coughs> uh, volcano, and this is. An eye emoji. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be fun uh, to to uh, like ha have a system for our games where we can use emojis in the names, yes, like right. uh, like have our own uh, emojis. That would be fun. Oh yeah, is it time for chickens now? No, Walter had uh, another one. Uh, let's. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we should move the uh, combos. It's time for big sniper. Da hell. Da hell with this. This there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Big Sniper. Snake family. And do we have anything else that could... Uh, um, let me peruse. Uh, robot, I guess, I guess um, sniper. Passion gun. <laughs> yeah, sniper. But I think big sniper and sniper <laughs> is the same. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of the same for snakes, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so this, uh, my idea was... Uh, Viper sniper and it's basically a the sniper. Viper, sniper. You said something about like a oh yeah, maybe it would be fun to just see a bunch of snakes, snakes just yeah. rolling around in there. Would be fun if it's like uh, it has like a a big cork. <laughs> it's it's almost like gumball. Yeah. <laughs> it's a snake family inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole damn family is in there. And then it would be a big sniper. Small <laughs> snake ball. Big sniper. <laughs> One is pointing out. <laughs> I can't see how you would use the scope though with that big thing. Mm. We couldn't make it be like a. Uh, uh, oh, but it is I a big you're sniper. On, uh, refs. It is a big sniper, so this could be like the. Uh, Wait, I'm behind, just gonna merge everything. The part behind it. Oops. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. But I'm thinking, could it be nice to have it like a. Uh, uh, Under? Yeah. Maybe. It would be fun to just remove the... <laughs> yeah. To reload and they all just fly out as uh, bits. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Hard to find a spot for oh. it. There we go. I mean, it could be like oh, this. Oh no, wait. Mm. I... It could be like this as well, where it's like... Um, uh, oops, there we go, sorry. Uh, we could do like this as well, where it's... Uh, it's rotated like that. And then... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Something like that, and then when you like reload... You open it. <laughs> it's so small, this this tube up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm thinking we need some, maybe some way to uh, like. Uh... The basic thing is. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, of course. It's uh, snake um, themed. The whole family is here. It's a whole snake family. <laughs> this is so snake themed, it's uh, sick. It's damn near sickening. And of course, the front is a big open snake mouth. I think our snakes are not looking like snakes, but that's fine. Excuse you? <laughs> also, there should be a live one ready to be fired. <laughs> <laughs> that one doesn't look like a snake at all. <laughs> oh, it becomes the tongue of the snake. <laughs> uh, this one is wrapping around. Oh, cool. This is a snake-themed sniper. This is the whole damn family. Maybe it should be called snake-themed sniper instead of snake sniper. 
Viper Sniper. <laughs> Viper Sniper. Viper... Uh... No, I think it's a good name. Yeah. I... Yeah, it still fits very well. I'd say. Yeah. That's uh... a... <laughs> Viper Sniper. Maybe this part... Maybe this part makes it a little bit too much over here. Yeah, um, I'm thinking if it uh, maybe if it wraps the other way, it could uh, be the this part here. Yeah, maybe that could be interesting. And then it could just be the tail. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And it could be. Slithering. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. Very dangerous sniper for you, sir. It's a viper sniper. Get used to it. No one's else gonna do it. <laughs> no one's else gonna do it. Maybe the, ho <laughs> the whole thing could be very slithery as well. Yeah, very organic. Yeah. And then it, like when you reload, it could be like... I wonder... It could be like... Uh, okay, this one... Like pops... Kunk. For the reload. And then you put more snakes in. Mm. And then like the whole gun could be like slithered under it. That could be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kunk. And then you have to Put a lid on it again. You have to put a lid on it. We're trying to sleep. Viper rifle is way cooler sounding. Did you Vi say it Viper right? sniper, yeah. viper rifle. I don't know. Viper sniper is. Uh, it's definitely more fun to say. We're not after cool, we're after fun. Yeah, we're after something that uh, has a good mouthfeel. And everything that rhymes is good in our book. Can I get a name, Aya? Let's wait for it. Amen. Mm. Finally. Uh, yeah, uh, send it. Call me a send it and call me a sniper. Can someone call me a sniper? <laughs> the, the one that has the. Do you look inside of it? <laughs> yeah, it has a lot of. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, whoops, uh, whatever. Whoops, whatever. Yeah. You get it. <laughs> I like it. It's uh, risque. It's uh, a multitude of risks and... Uh, Layers and risks and rewards. Yeah. Um, are we out of uh, comment ideas or should we try... Let's have another look. The Shooting Stars weapon you talked yeah. about. Uh, yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah, we could uh, see if we can come up with something... That... <laughs> like, shooting stars weapon... Can be combined with... Man. Oh, yeah. And also... Throwing knives, uh, bladed Jojo... No, Yo-Yo. Huge hand. 
compassion gun. Hmm. Because a shooting star, like it's a, it's a star. Shooting star stars man. weapon, man. It's oh, the star man. Is this a man? <laughs> uh, it could be. I think you're on a different. Oh wait. You know what? We're onto something here. <laughs> oh, it's holding knives. It's not holding knives, it's throwing little stars. So it's like... A throwing stars? It's like a complete man. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just flinging. <laughs> Wait, my, my hand needs to be like this. And he's just flinging stars. Maybe bigger. A uh, star man. <laughs> <laughs> this is for shooting stars. I like that. Yeah. And then it could be like the sounds could be like like the shooting stars, oh, like, twinkle. uh, like twinkling sounds, like from uh, Super Smash with the star wand. And a lot of twinkles, and the f uh, like when they hit, I feel it's like. like it be even yeah, that's a happy. And that's a happy. <laughs> yeah. He loves it. Swing, so I'm safe, so I'm safe. Uh, How do you reload this one? Do you tickle him? Yeah, or you uh, uh, give his head a spin, perhaps. <laughs> or may maybe <laughs> there could be like this. Uh, whoa, did, did I do in refs again? Uh, yeah, I moved it. Okay. Uh, maybe it could be like... Uh, like... He's like... Oh? Uh -huh. And like a, a bunch of small stars are coming in and being like la 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 small stars singing and he's like oh and then he grabs them and that's the reload. <laughs> so, so, so there's like small stars coming like na 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 <laughs> and he's like oh and then he grabs them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reload. <laughs> he's just playing with his two star. Does he only do two star? No, I mean, they're, they're like a bunch of stars is is like they're they're doing a little little small star parade. Uh, like small kind Yeah, and they're singing like uh, like come, uh, like entering his view, and he's like oh, and then grabs them, and then the reload is done. Mm. So they're like la 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 la. I like it. I like it. <laughs> That's how you reload every gun. You like, you're you like, let them oh. uh, find their ammo themselves. This is a really fun way of <laughs> coming up with weapons. Yeah, it's like, like uh, limiting yourself yeah. to certain words. Shooting stars weapon, man, and throwing knives. Yeah, this is definitely very hard to come up with without the <laughs> yeah. prompts. Yeah. Also, how would you pitch it to someone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where would you start? You need a starting point. Yeah, this is fun. And these are little stars. Yeah. Our little uh, sentient stars, I suppose. Yeah. Is it throwing star? Yeah. Star throwing star. Throwing star star. Mm. Is it Tony Star? Tony Star. <laughs> the K is silent. Yeah. Star man. Throwing star man. <laughs> I kind of like throwing star man. <laughs> throwing star man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
it's it's like uh, as bad of a, of a name as the idea is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's also like if we do a TikTok of it, <laughs> we picked shooting stars weapon, man, and throwing knife. <laughs> we made throwing star, star man. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I like it. That's funny. <laughs> I hope no no game beats us to this. Yeah, there's some. Uh, there's gonna be some time to to be able to make this uh, <laughs> before someone else does. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have a okay, random words there. and uh, weaponize it. Okay, uh, I'm <laughs> isn't gonna, that what we did? I'm oh, just, oh yeah. I'm just gonna okay. I'm gonna look away and then I'm gonna okay. We're gonna have to pick this word, uh -huh. this word, uh -huh. and this word. So we got twelve barrel shotgun sludge spider bow. That's a hard one. That's not a good one. <laughs> um, twelve barrel shotgun and chicken though. Could be something. Chicken. Twelve barrel though. Mm, That's it. What even is? Okay, I'm gonna do a new one. This one, this one, and that one. <laughs> you missed all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so fish, flail, alligator, huge hand. Huge hand, alligator, fish, flail. Yeah. So alligator with one huge hand. Uh, holding a fish, mm. or or it's or it's like this. Chicken. It's a melee weapon, and it's a, like a an alligator. This is how an alligator looks. Mm -hmm. and it has a lot this of. This is teeth. Croc from the game Croc. Yeah, uh, and Croc is an alligator. And then, and then it's like a huge hand is holding, <laughs> is, hold, is flailing a fish in front of it to make oh, it, to make it bite people. Ah! Uh... <laughs> this is the worst fish ever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. It's kind of fun. Uh, um... You're kind of tricking the alligator to bite people. Yeah. <laughs> this is ugly ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is ugly alligator. Uh, I like well, it. It's kind of fun. It doesn't even look at it. <laughs> he looks at the hand. <laughs> he, he just wanna bite the hand. Yeah. He doesn't give a shit about the fish. Oh, did I do it on refs again? I always do. Oh my god, he loves to do it. Are you moving it? Yeah, I'll do it. I mean, this could be a fun one. Yeah, uh, I think so. Tricking the fish. I uh, think we might have to work a little bit on the design. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to try the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, where is this hand coming from? Uh, you kind of need it to not be the alligator. It could be a uh, backpack. Remember this guy? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's kind of fun. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like a backpack, uh, and it's like a hole, and you see eyes <laughs> and the hand. <laughs> There's this creep. <laughs> <laughs> There's, a, There's a creep in the backpack making this alligator work for. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> this is really fun. This could be uh, a power up. A <laughs> oh, like a companion. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Uh, and it's like, uh, oh my god, this is a fun power up. Yeah. <laughs> someone on uh, someone's back, uh, tricking yeah. the alligator to do stuff. <laughs> with just one fish. Yeah. <laughs> That's... That. Yeah, this is very funny. <laughs> yeah. This is such a good uh, duo. 
<laughs> yeah. I want to see a game with these two. Yeah, you never see the one <laughs> in the backpack. You never see his, his damn hat. Yeah. We did it. Mm. Do we want eyes? That one. Is it better with eyes? No, I think. I think maybe yeah. With eyes like that was was kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe bigger pupils, even bigger pupils. So it's like a baby shark. Shark. Oh, baby shark! Remember that from uh, YouTube? Yeah, so it's tricking a baby <laughs> to do its bidding. Uh, Oops. It would be really fun if uh, when it dies, uh, like the backpack um, <laughs> it falls out. <laughs> yeah, and it's like. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm on oh. refs again. Get over here. Huge hand. Alligator. Huge hand, alligator. And uh, what was it? Uh, fish for the ale. That's a. Uh, Maybe it's uh, shaking its fist. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a good character. It should definitely be a companion. I mean, it would be kind of fun if uh, when it dies, the alligator actually gets the hold of the hand and he eats him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's also fun to have only the like the alligator like digs down in the ground or something, and he's the one left. It's like, <laughs> it's like that, uh, that's maybe that's more cute. Yeah, I I kind of like that he gets the hand and then eats the whole thing, and then there's nothing controlling him, so he just leaves. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny as well. Yeah. Oh, it's baby shark. Yeah, that's ooh. <clears throat> That one is really fun. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the name? Backpacker. Um, back. Pack Cle clever thing. backpacker. <laughs> clever backpacker. <laughs> yeah, it's funny not to say anything about yeah. the alligator. Clever backpacker. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm on the wrong layer again. <laughs> yeah, you get very original ideas with this. Uh, yeah. Um, Prompt. <laughs> I, I think it's, it would be really difficult to come up with ideas on a tired day, though. This way, May, or maybe it's easier. I don't know. Mm, it almost feels like it's less work. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Lever backpack. <laughs> uh, and the, like when you when you see the like the uh, the power up is like only the backpack so. <laughs> with the eyes. Oh yeah.
Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so a clever backpacker like hides himself inside of the backpack and puts the backpack on a, a baby alligator. Yeah, that's clever. Yeah. <laughs> clever backpack. <clears throat> Good shit. We left a hole up here. Yeah, we should fill it with um, fillet. So something I, I, I've been thinking. This is um, like uh, this one. I'm gonna shrink it a little bit as well. This one and uh, curious stinger and this one yeah it's, it's like a B uh, no I, I was thinking like uh, like uh, uh, what's it called? I did it the wrong way. So I was thinking like uh, uh, what is it called? What is it called? Scorpion. Mm. Uh, and then it could be like um, flailing, like curiously. I don't know. Maybe it comes from a curious place. Uh, like the end here. I think you're on the ref somewhere. <laughs> of course. Uh, <clears throat> like uh, uh, maybe a portal or something. Mm. It's difficult to see in the... I mean, you, we, we could just do a, an actual scorpion. <laughs> this is a scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> you are on red so <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. He keeps messing with me. Or we we could just. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it could go like ooh ah. That's curious. Is that antlers? Uh, that's his little hands. Because I've been thinking that we should have a poison weapon. Uh, yeah, I agree. I kind of like the idea of having something very cute at the end of it. Yeah. Why did it duplicate? <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, that could work. I'm thinking about how to make it like maybe it should. Uh, wait, I can fix it. Um, Pretty bare. Oh. 
Whoops. <laughs> oh, did it attack? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out a way to make it extend further front. Mm. Yeah, because like uh, it's a, a weapon, so it should be. Also, it would be <laughs> fun if it's like super cool. Uh, yeah, and big and, and cool compared to. Uh, yeah. It needs to be a stinger still. Of course, it's gonna have some veins in here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Curious stinger. stinger. Maybe you, uh, you're carrying it on like one of these red pillows with. Uh... Oh. <laughs> like it's a really fancy little animal. Yeah. I feel like. Maybe it could be one of those dogs. Uh, <laughs> with uh, a mutated uh, little yeah. dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a little pillow. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I, I really like this. Yeah. You can I, always I can, save an I, idea. I can uh, taste the lore. Yeah. And I'm always... sure we can find a, a comment that is uh, requesting a dog. I'm sure. Everybody's got a dog. Maybe it should uh, have the... This is a truly curious stinger. <laughs> <laughs> it looks scared of its own. Yeah. Um. Oh! <gasps> It did not... Uh... Maybe it's more fun that they would be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make it happy with these? I think you need to do uh, like this. Uh, <coughs> oops. You need to do like this. Mm. That's too far down. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Carmen's got it. <clears throat> this yeah. is disgusting. I stopped looking at it for one second. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what we should have as well? Like, like this part of it should be like a little fluffy. <laughs> so it should, oh, have, yeah, should yeah. have parts of it with little fluff on, so it's the tail. Oh yeah. But also mm. it should be veiny. Yeah. Mm. This veiny... This is a truly curious stinger. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Someone <laughs> carry carrying it on a little. It's a it's a very rare dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's a melee weapon, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> rare dog. <laughs> I like that. Rare dog breed. <laughs> no, rare dog. Wait, I'll move it back. Should it be rare dog breed. Yeah. Rare dog breed. <laughs> <laughs> Should it have like one of these, uh, like uh, like it was a part of a show? Mm. Uh, like an award. Maybe it could be here. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you got a lot of space. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like one of these, and then we can just do like that, and then yeah. and then the <laughs> ribbon. It won a dog. Uh, Beauty. Oh yeah, if it's a dog beauty, maybe it should have one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, correct. <laughs> uh. <laughs> rare dog breed. Damn, this is a rare dog breed. 
<laughs> I kind of wanted to go up here. Like it's it's muscly going in there. Yeah. Yeah. This one wins it. <clears throat> yeah, maybe we're feeling done for today, huh? Yeah. Uh, we made a lot of uh, winners. Rare dog breed. <laughs> that one could probably be for the Halloween as well. Yeah, I can see that. It's uh, scary as all hell. Yeah. A lot of... Some some of the ideas today are very fun, like gameplay wise. Yeah, and uh, that's important as well. The mold bullet is definitely very interesting. Yeah, worth exploring. Yeah, the slapper mold also makes a really good case for the mold bullet. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> Snored, the rare dog breed, volcano eye. Hyper Sniper. Throwing Starman is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Clever back. I like that he changes his pose where he's got like his his uh, body upwards here as well. Like yeah. he's, It's gonna be like the ass in the player's face. <laughs> <laughs> as it's gathering new stars. Yeah. And the Clever Backpacker is so fun. Maybe it should be... have a little glimpse like this. Yeah, a lot of good ones. Um, big thanks to you guys in the chat and you TikTokers. Yeah. <clears throat> this was a really fun way to do it. Yeah. For sure. Really helps. Yeah, really makes um, unique stuff. Um, yeah, thank you everybody for uh, watching and uh, we'll see you next time, won't we? Yes, stay around and we'll host someone or yeah. raid someone. We'll host someone and you can tell them all about the slap. <laughs> <laughs>